Yo, what's up guys, Sebastian Legends back with another video today. In this video today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys a life hack in Roblox Studio not a lot of people can think of. And this life hack will show you guys how you could move cars in Roblox Studio without any scripting knowledge. Like you could just move it automatically and I'll show you how to do that today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a car that you want. So let's say I want to move this Spongebob car. How about that? You can move something like this, although it looks a bit funky, but it would be pretty cool seeing it like move forward, right? So let's do that now. So you first need to get the car and this is the car that I want. The next thing you want to do is you want to search, you want to open up the toolbox over here and search up conveyor belt. And if you do not want to like look for it on the toolbox, then I'll put a link below too. Now, the next thing you would like, I want you guys to do is I want you guys to put this one over here put the conveyor belt you want, but I highly suggest this one. I'll put the link down below and shout out to Naruto603 for making this. Once you drop the conveyor belt into your Roblox game, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to align this part with the car. Like basically, you see like the arrow over here. You want the arrow to be pointing like towards the headlight of the car. So like basically you see the headlights over here, but this part, the end part is pointing like right where the headlights are. So basically this arrow shows what way the car will move. And we want it to move forward, so this is how it's going to look like. It's, it's going to move up like this. We want the car to move up like this. Like, we want it to move straight. We don't want it moving, like, right or left because it wouldn't make, like, sense. Like, a car just to be shifting like this. So, after you finish positioning it, what you want to do is you want to bring this model on top of the part over here, on top of the car, and shrink it. I suggest doing that. Shrink it to make it like around the size of the car or maybe like where somewhere could fit it like maybe here and after that bring this model inside of the car so op you need to open the explorer and properties window actually so you could do that by going to view and enabling it here so you see i have it on so what you want to do is you're going to see the conveyor in the workspace right you want to bring it inside the body and how about we put it at with inside the exhaust so put it like somewhere inside the car and the last thing i want you guys to do is i want you guys to hit the plus over here search up well constrained just like this and then now for part zero click the left button of your mouse where my mouse is where the cursor is and then click the main conveyor model then after that click part one and click the mesh part and now this thing is officially welded to this so basically the constraint is going to make like the conveyor belt like basically the conveyor belt is supposed to like move forward like it's supposed to make anything that's like touching and move forward so since it's like welded to the car the entire car will move forward with it and if we play if we run it if we test it right now you could see that the car starts to move forward and note that sometimes the car could like be bugging out like sometimes it can move like a bit curved glitchy because of the car shape and design so like it could be funky to, like that so I, I mean like this ain't like the best way to move like cars I'm saying but it works and it's very fast and easy and if you want the car to look like m more stylish like if you want the car to like look good like you don't want to see the conveyor then what you could do is you could go to the main conveyor over here make it transparent and then now you want to remove the decal and also turn off can collide so like now when we play it Let's just hit play here you can see that the car is moving but it could be curved due to the, its design because this is very funky but however the car does move if you guys are not satisfied with how fast or slow the car is moving then what you could do is you could go inside the script of the main conveyor and what what I want you guys to do is we're gonna focus over here at the velocity so basically this is like the multiplier it's based on like how fast the car goes so if 15 is not good enough for you, 15 is default with this model. How about we make it like 60? And I'm going to move the car a bit higher because I feel like it could be fast. And now if we run it, you can see that the car now moves fast. And it actually moves straight now, guys. Maybe it was where I put it early that I was like bugging out. Like let's try putting it back to 15. Maybe there was like something wrong with like the bug. There was a glitch. Or maybe it just needs like a really fast like mile per hour for the car to move straight but it's very interesting with this model but like i'm saying you could do this with like pretty much any car that like actually works 
like for example let's say i want to control this bmw i want to make it like a self-driving car then i'll show you put it next right next to it i'll do the same thing i'll duplicate the main conveyor i'll put it inside the bmw i could put this inside the body because i like the body and we could put it somewhere in let's say we put it at this mesh part right we got like so we're gonna select this main conveyor over here and for part one we're gonna select this so make sure if you like duplicating this and put it somewhere else make sure the part one matches like it corresponds with the car so like make sure that it does like right now we're in the bmw right you gotta make sure that this this main conveyor corresponds and also we gotta move it to the bmw so the bmw will like move to and now if we run it you could see that the bmw kind of moves straight like it does move straight i gotta admit and if it still doesn't move straight then you could sometimes try and like put it somewhere else in the car and there's a chance that it might move straight like let's try this one let's see if today i'm lucky but it seems like it doesn't really move that straight but if we set it fast like i'm saying then it'll take longer for it to move straight i guess you could say so if we bring these all back we run it then now you could see that it's moving fast well that, that was for the spongebob car i forgot to customize the bmw too so let me customize the bmw inside the main conveyor let's make it 60. now if we make it go like if we run it now you can see both both of them are fast and it's now like nascar racing and it seems like bmw is winning guys so we officially made self-driving cars in roblox and i hope you guys oh shoot looks like one person's dead that does not seem good and a jellyfish over here damn the spongebob car went down too so they both lost the race but i hope you guys enjoyed the video this should make your game like more interesting since you add self-driving cars and they could just sometimes randomly move any direction they want so like i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys